This morning we are leaving our little spot by the restaurant here and we are heading to Sumela Monastery. Sumela Monastery. We are Marianne and Chris. In May 2018, we quit the nine to five, rented our house to travel full time. Due to the pandemic, our attempt to drive around the world has been put on pause. Finding ourselves in Turkey, we are going to show you the best this country has to offer. It's uh, about two hours drive away uh, south of Trebson, so we're heading back uh, west along the coast uh, of the Black Sea here. And uh, the sun is shining, it's a beautiful day. In fact, they're having a bit of a heat wave at the moment and uh, it's in the mid 30s today which is unusually hot for this time of year and it feels like it it's a bit warm <laughs> right let's go find a monastery driving along the black sea coastline i never realized how beautiful and amazing the Black Sea is. I didn't expect the waters to be so blue and so clear. Um, and they're obviously in good condition after seeing all those dolphins yesterday. And uh, there's a big fishing industry. You can probably see the fishing boats down here. One of the things we've been told we have to try is uh, fish and uh, raki. And you can see, look, Marianne won't be eating the fish because she doesn't eat fish but uh, yeah great you can see all the uh, the fishing boats there so there's also a little internal airport here in Trabzon so uh, if anybody wants to visit this area from Istanbul, you can just get a little flight. So we've got six miles to go until we uh, arrive at the beginning of the hike to the monastery. It's a lovely gorge. Beautiful. Really nice. River down the side, steep cliffs, and uh, the road so far is good. So uh, yeah, it's a really nice, nice drive up here. So we've got just over a mile to go and uh, it looks like there's an entrance, official entrance to the park so maybe we pay here. Mahaba! Monastery! <laughs> Yay! You should park your car one kilometer right side after there is minibus or if you want you can walk. Okay. Five kilometer bus. So Five kilometers. Minibus. Minibus. <laughs> Have a nice day. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very you much. Too. 50 Turkish Lira to get in each, which is about five pounds, just over five pounds. And apparently there is a car park about a kilometer, and then there's little mini buses that take you further up. I think there's still walking involved, so we'll uh, we'll go and uh, we'll go and suss, suss it out. Oh, it's oh there's a big car park. Right, we're all parked up and uh, now we're just going to go and see if we can find the minibus that will take us up there. And uh, I'm not sure how far the walk is. <sighs> it's very hot. They said it was going to be a very hot day today. But it's nice, there's a great big car park here. Minibus? Minibus go to the yeah. monastery? Monastery. Or do you have to walk? Uh, yeah, no. Ten dakka. Ten, ten, ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Walking. Uh, walking. So, Get it, 
Okay, so the minibus was six Turkish lira each, which is like 65p, yep. 70p. So I'm more than happy to do that to save a walk in this heat. All right, all aboard. This is giving me memories of Central America. It is, definitely. Definitely. We did lots of minibuses, didn't we? We did. Well, that was a fun ride up. <laughs> Overtaking, undertaking. <laughs> anyway, we made it here <laughs> and uh, it's all good. So we've arrived up at the, the entrance. There's a, as you come in, hello, as you come in, very good. There's all these little shops selling trinkets as you come in, ice creams, some souvenirs. So after the minibus ride, there is a short, uh, probably a quarter of a kilometer walk down to the monastery through these wonderful woods. Wow, how amazing is this view? You can just about make out the road that we drove up on. There's a reason they build monasteries in such isolated locations. It's really peaceful, isn't it? Marianne's having a little pit stop. <laughs> They got these little cool benches on the way up. Oh, that's good. Uh, <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> that's so funny. Wow, this is really quite a staircase, isn't it? Perched right on the edge of the valley here. Look at this view. And they've got some old pictures here, taken back in 1903. Wow. Oh. And we've come inside. Oh, the watchtower. They've been doing a lot of restoration work. I think it's only just reopened. Um, yeah, I heard it had only just reopened. And uh, you can see that's what it will look like when it's finished. But the stairs and just walking around here is magnificent. There's little turn offs as you come around the corner. Wow. And this would have been the library. The old library. Look at this little desk. How cool is that? A little fireplace. A lovely and, uh, view. What's the view out the window? Wow. 
Each room has a fireplace, each in a different shape. But it would be super cold here in the winter. Yeah. And they've all got obviously chimney, little chimney points. Wow. So we've come down to this middle area where you can see behind me a church that's just covered in frescoes. One of the things this monastery has is a lot of frescoes. They've been doing a lot of restoration work here um, over the past months. And you can see some of the areas uh, are nearly finished. And some of the areas behind me are still being renovated. I've seen online lots of different reviews and comments, people saying whether you should come or not, or it's not worth the money, or it's not worth the effort, or it's amazing. I think that has to be up to you, but I personally think it is fabulous. And the restoration is chocolate. It is. I mean, look how this little church here has been, like the troglodyte houses we've seen in France, just built into the rocks and the caves and this building is absolutely lovely really really lovely we'll go and have a little look there's lots of little doorways all of this stone has been renovated and it's just so wow. carefully done there? i'm not sure it's a cave. Can you go in? it's a little cave but well, it's lit up so i think you're encouraged to come in wow Oh, it looks like um, maybe an oven or something. I think this is the old kitchen area. Wow. This kitchen is huge. Look at this. And I've learned something. I've seen this word, firin, everywhere. And it means bakery. There you go. Look, they've got a little, where they would have we've had the oven with the paddle. They've got this wonderful ceiling here, part of the cave. And another pot, big stew pot there for cooking. I bet these walls could tell a few stories. I think they could. Definitely now, gets the old imagination going again, doesn't it? Beautiful. Wow, so we've come into the main chapel. This is bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is really big. Look at this. And there is amazing frescoes that you can still see on the walls and the ceilings that have survived the test of time. out there's a lot of renovation work that's still being done but it's really important to support projects um, archaeological sites historical sites by paying the entrance fee and visiting them to enable them to do these works all the way around us at the top of the rock face they are attaching the special um, steel netting to catch any rocks from falling on people down below. Can you imagine the bravery and the balls of steel you would need to be working at this massive height? Best solution for a toilet when you're on, on the top of a cliff face? Drop it down below. These holes would have dropped straight off the cliff, cliff face into the, into the abyss below. You wouldn't want to be walking down there. What a great solution. Where's the lizard? There, on that leaf. Oh yeah, it's a nice one. Hello mate. Gone. <laughs> oh, there's another one on the path. Is there? Yeah. We're just trying another path because often when you visit these sites, you can't actually see the structure and uh, what, some of the best views are from a distance looking back rather than being in it so we're just going to see if there's a place that we can uh, 
we can have a little look at it from a distance. So we're trying another pathway. We made it back down the hill alive and uh, we've jumped back into Trudy. Unfortunately, we couldn't drone uh, because uh, a security guard told us it wasn't permitted, which you've got to respect uh, everywhere's rules. And we're heading back now. We're going to see if we can find somewhere on the coast just outside of Trabzon to, uh, to hang out for a couple of days and uh, do our day's video editing and all the wonderful fun things that we do. And being by the coast, I'm sure there'll be nice food and maybe a cheeky beer or two. Oh, a cheeky beer at the weekend. We are still celebrating our birthdays after all. Exactly. Birthdays all year round. Anniversary. <laughs> Right, let's uh, go to the beach. This morning we have woken up in the city of Trabzon uh, on the Black Sea. We had a nice night here, caught up with some guys last night that came to see us and brought us some desserts and we had a good catch up. This morning we are doing what is not necessarily the highlight of van life. We got to go and find a laundrette and uh, we found one <laughs> online uh in trabzon so we've got about a 15 minute walk from this car park um normally we dip into campsites we've been doing so um, but there aren't any campsites that's to be found around here we're in desperate need of uh doing some washing hence all the bags so uh yeah the highlight of our morning is to go find a laundrette right we've got to cross the bridge and head into the city center which is over here just to give you a sense of direction, the mosque that's being built there, we're parked up on the coast opposite, so we've walked round and it should be down there somewhere. We were looking online to see uh, if you can get Trudy down these roads. Often when you're looking for a place, it's always good to look on Google Maps because you never quite know what you're gonna find. And looking at these roads, yeah. I think Marianne's realized yeah. that getting to some of these little car parks and things would be slightly nerve-wracking. Are we there yet? There's a car oh, coming. A car oh, yeah. Also, it's the high things as well, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing. The little narrow alleys. It's a cool town, actually. Right, so your laundry is up here. Oh, there's a ball coming down. <laughs> Good catch, love. <laughs> Whose ball? ball? I don't know. Maba. I think they do it for you. Uh, Fisher. Fisher. Yeah. Fisher. Fisher. Okay, we've dropped off the laundry. It's not actually a self-service. Yeah. It's more of a sort of laundry dry cleaning service, um, but it's all good. I actually it's had my iPad in the back, um, downloaded some series, and I had visions of just watching the telly all day. Yeah, exactly. But instead I have to go back to work <laughs> in the van. There you go. So um, we'll go back and pick that up uh, just before three o'clock. So we can go back to the van and hang out. And the total was 120 Turkish lira. It's quite expensive, Is but it? it's a, uh, we could probably because we're not doing it ourselves. Yes. You know, it's a service. Yes. But hey ho, needs must and we need clean clothes. Oh, we really do. <laughs> we spent the last few hours in the van and uh, by the Black Sea. Time to get the laundry. I think it might rain. What do you reckon? Well, we saw dolphins. We did see dolphins. We saw dolphins. Very briefly. I tried to get the camera out, but it was they were they were quicker than me. I think they're a special breed though because they seem quite small. They do and they jump a lot. Jump a lot. But yeah, we're going to go and get the uh, get the laundry. And um, I think it's definitely going to rain. What do you reckon? And we've been actually quite organised. We put a black bag in the back, in our rucksack, 
in case it rains we can keep the, the clean wash and kind of dry and we've got ponchos because you never know when you might need a poncho right yeah. in fact we're doing this video to share you share with you a little bit about van life um not just turkey not just us but the life that we live uh, because some people have been saying where do you do your washing where do you go what where do you sleep how do you wild camp so we're sharing a little bit of that with you today there you go it's recording <laughs> 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 <Whoa. Hey. laughs> the laundry. Uh, yes. Yes. Laundry. Did Bank you see laundry. the Bank. beautiful? Thank you. Bag. Super. Super bag. No beautiful. Plastic. No plastic. Woo yes, super. Thank you very super much. Bag. Have you paid? Have you paid? Yeah, I just paid. You paid. I paid. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> so we've woken up on this spot by the Black Sea, and it's actually a really cool location because there's a little car park here and then there's a restaurant there and over here there is a beach it's a bit of a cloudy day which one of the problems with having a cloudy day although the temperature is nice and it is a lot cooler the solar doesn't charge so well and because we've been parked still um, for a couple of days well we haven't really driven far the fans went off during the night and the electric is flashing red to say that we've run out of electric so uh, it's a little bit of a problem because we were doing a work day it's a sad day in Trudy <laughs> we're doing a work day on the computers yeah and uh, it all went dark. everything's going off. So I think we're going to go into the cafe and see if we can find a table with some charging points, get everything charged up. But this is one of the problems with the, uh, the sun not being so sunny now. We're coming to the end of summer. Um, the two leisure batteries, normally if we drive every day or every couple of days, it's good. Yeah, but we've stopped to make videos, haven't we? We've yeah. actually had a couple of days to And work. although it was sunny when we were at the monastery the other day, because it's sunny and it's really hot, we park in the shade, <laughs> which do. is our own stupid fault, we were saying, and we should have parked in the sun. Yeah. Um, but we're going to start looking for some generators or power banks. Yeah. Um, just enough, maybe we can charge them by solar for the computers and things like that. So if any of you know anywhere in turkey that we can find a power bank that we could charge with solar please contact us or drop a comment below because we're definitely interested in looking at one right let's go and see if we can get into this restaurant So while we were in Trabzon, we got contacted by these guys um, who we've been chatting to online and they invited us up into the hills just outside of Trabzon for some lunch. <laughs> so we are, hi guys, thank you for inviting hi. us. <laughs> thank you very much. And uh, they're cooking up some fish. Oh, uh, for you. <laughs> oh, you. Who caught it? You caught it? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Yeah. Their house here is right up in the hills and they've got loads of veg growing and it's just so beautiful although it's just started to rain. I think Marianne's been singing again. You've been singing? <laughs> but they've also got this, look, instead of a grapevine in Turkey they got a kiwi. Kiwi? I've never actually seen kiwis growing before, but they've got like really cool, really, page. really funny shaped ones. Look, but they're just kiwis. Amazing, superb! Wow, look at this fish. Beautiful. Garden. Salad from the garden. Some fresh fruit. 
Nice company. Fish from the Black Sea. <laughs> Black Sea fish. <laughs> nice view. <laughs> and the what more do you oh, want? Yes. Nice people. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Thank you very much for a very nice lunch and you got a watermelon to go. <laughs> Thank you, You're Chef. Welcome. I'm just going to check the electric again. Yeah, let's see what the carrot's got. No, it's still low. Oh, you're still here. Guys, come on, it's the end of the show. We hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more of our adventures, then make sure you don't miss an episode by clicking the subscribe button below and the bell notification. And we will see you next time. Bye for now.